here's the cable system, and, uh, and I kind of fell in love with what the cable system was doing, but my assignment was to figure out how to start this network. So we, uh, together with one other person from Time Inc., whose name is Tony Thompson, uh, who had been in kind of marketing and sales, uh, we developed a little game plan for what we called at the time the Sterling Cable Network, that it would be a movies and sports network because that had real box office appeal and would get people to understand that this is valuable programming. And we would run... Uh, well, I could give you the, the the kind of business plan, which is pretty interesting, because it was different from every every everybody else was thinking at the time. Uh, the business plan was a uh, to have a network affiliation basis. Doesn't sound very profound, but at the time, everybody was thinking about pay television wanted to go in and lease a channel from the cable operator and run pay-per-view movies and just pay the operator a little fee. We were going to come in as a network and the cable system was the affiliate and it would be like the big networks and their affiliates so that the cable system actually had responsibility for the what we call the denial device, the box, and some marketing. So that was one factor. Second factor was that we would have live programming, that we would actually need to construct a network to deliver live programming. Everyone else, and I can tell you who the everyone else were, um, Jeff Nathanson, uh, Channel 100 out, in the, out here in California, was, was going to start a pay-per-view lease channel system in San Diego, maybe. Dick Lubick had something called Home Theater Network, which was, again, a lease channel pay-per-view movie service. And then Dory Sherry in Florida had something called Theater Vision, which was like theater, running movies uh, on a pay-per-view basis. Now here's the Sterling Cable Network. We were going to have live programming sports, because sports, high-quality value attribution for the consumer. Um, and finally, that uh, we might have other programming just like a network. Oh, I didn't mention the most obvious thing. We were going to be a subscription service. Everyone else was pay-per-view, uh, which was didn't seem uh, business logical at the time.